This is part five of forms in Flubru, sharing forms and submitting them. So once you've got your section headers, your page breaks, all your questions and your pictures and videos added in, um, you want to go and be able to view your live quiz and see what it looks like and make sure you're happy with that. And the way you do that is you go to view live form. And this is going to take you to the actual live web link where your form lives. And as you can see, once we go here, here is now my new test with my videos and everything uh, put into it. And this time I've taken out the pictures and headers and stuff. Um, so if I went through here and I just put some information, in. see, after I've actually taken um, the quiz, so I've put in all my answers, and then if I click the submit button, it's going to take me to that page that says, thanks for taking the test. Now go to my website and begin activity two which is, uh, again, a really cool way of moving the students forward. So the next piece is once you have everything finished and you know how to view your quiz, how do you share it? So again, if you go to that view live form, and this time I've taken out the pictures and headers and stuff, I can share this directly by clicking on the link uh, in my address bar and going up there and grabbing, copying and pasting that and put it anywhere I want. And it'll link right to this, this form. I can email it as well. Okay, now from right here, I can't do too much, but if I go back to my form creation page, up in the top right, it says send form. And so I can share this via Google+, Facebook, Twitter, or I can just grab this link, copy it, copy it, and then uh, paste it anywhere I want on a web page or into an email, or I can actually just send it right into an email as well and include the form directly in the email. So all they have to do is fill it out right there and I can customize the message as well. Here's the test form, here's what I want you to do with it. So you can just send it directly to your students if you want. There's also an embed, uh, which gives you the embed code to be able to embed it on any website that you want. So whether you use a Google site or not, you don't have to do that. You can copy and paste that into, an I, in, into your website as an iframe and it'll bring it up. And then the last thing you can do if you wanted to embed it directly on your Google site, it's a little bit easier. You go directly to your Google site, and I've got this one already set up, Forms and Scripts, not for nerds. And you can notice that I have a couple of, of quizzes already embedded on my site. So all you do is you go into your editing mode, and once you're in editing mode, you then are able to em embed a quiz very quickly by going up to Insert, and you go it over to your drive, and you go into Form, select the form you want to do. I want to do test form, hit select, and you can set these things up. If I wanted the width not to matter, I can change that um, or leave it the way it is. And I can include a title or not, include a border or not. I can change the name of it if I want to and just hit save. And now you can see it appears down here. And then if I save my site, there's my form right there. And my students can take it right on my web page, which makes it really, really simple to give, uh, give students one simple place to go to take your quizzes. So that's the end of part five of forms in Flubaru. You should now know how to create a form, how to use the different question types and special features of forms, how to share it, and how your students should submit your form. Now you're gonna learn what to do with that data in Flubaru in the next tutorial.